What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis, coming to y'all with a quick video. We're going to talk about the 4-5 seed, the team that made a drastic change. They traded Chris Paul, a team that won 65 games and was on the verge of going to the Western Conference Final after being 2-2 with the Golden State Warriors and lost two straight to the Golden State Warriors without KD and the team that wanted to get rid of Russell Westbrook because they wanted to go in a different direction or both teams with the same exact record um and the fun part about it is neither one of them get home court advantage which is ironic but it's true because they're playing in a bubble which we didn't see coming until now but what we do see is a series that a lot of people wanted to see who made the right decision was getting rid of russ the right decision was getting rid of chris paul the right decision and this is a requested video so let's get into it this is going to be an interesting series because it's the battle of complete opposites. Um, the Thunder is a team that really likes to execute, slow things down, get guys in their spots, get guys um, a lot of shots from different spots on the court. They have different play styles. One is an up and down gun and come at you. The other team is slow it down, get the right you know positions and value the positions that you have. They have one of the best assists to tone over ratio players in NBA history and Chris Paul, and they have one of the craziest players in NBA history and Russ, who likes to attack, turn over the ball, take a lot of shots, and still file, fill up the stat sheet. They also do have the best player in the series, which will be James Harden for the Houston Rockets, a guy that is virtually unguardable, but can sometimes get a little bit too big-headed, making a lot of plays, overthinking things, and being careless. It's something that I have always said about him, and it's true. And the Clippers and Thunder play pretty well against each other throughout the season. So it's not like it's unbalanced. It's not like it's a crazy series. This is a very good series, and I think that it's going to be interesting to see who wins this one because it's the tell of the tape. This series is, is going to be a long one. I definitely feel like it's not going to be a sweep. I definitely don't feel like it's going five. I feel like these teams – are close to each other, closer than what people think. And the Thunder proved that all season, um, being able to have the same exact record with the Rockets. Um, even though that people look at them with less talent, people don't look at them as a serious team in the West. A lot of people just glad that they made it. But this team has been defying the odds all year. This team has played together. This team has figured out what they're trying to do with their offense, what they're trying to do defensively. And they have stood and stay locked in and focused throughout the whole season. And I really want to see how they that they play against each other just because I don't see both styles being able to be played on this at the same time as either this is going to be a series where Houston is going to have to find ways to score in the half court. James Harden has proven that he can knock down tough shots. He can score. And if you do double team him, he has the Robert Covingtons. He has the P.J. Tuckers that can kill you with the threes and, and really punish you if you if you help off his drives. Or even if you don't, he can float it, he can lob it, and he can always kick it out. Russ has shown that he still is one of the best players in the world, being able to get to his spots, whether it's the mid-range, whether it's getting to the paint. And he has shown that he has the ability and the willingness to pass. And his team, like I said, with Harden, can very well punish you for double team or trapping or collapsing to Russell Westbrook. And another thing that makes the Rockets a tough team to beat is the fact that both of these guys are killers. They go at you. They go at you for the whole time they're on the court. And you don't really get no positions off. You really don't get a chance to rest. And I don't know if the, the Thunder can match that with their togetherness because you're looking at two assassins two killers coming at you the whole game picking you apart attacking you embarrassing you and just you know trying to obliterate you each possession while the thunder like to settle down run their sets make sure the ball is moving making sure they can get to their spots making sure guys are involved throughout the whole game on both sides of the court i think that the thing that will favor the thunder is being able to rely on players to score efficiently. A, 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 they can really pick you apart and make you um, give up a lot of easy shots while the Rockets will work for a lot of their shots or rush their shots, which the Thunder can then punish them and really, you know, take a four-point lead to an eight-point lead and keep it 
just because they're going to take and value every possession. While I feel like the Rockets, on the other hand, is a little bit more reckless. Like I said, a little bit more careless. And they will live with their mistakes. Their coach won't discipline them. He'll let them play through it. And he will accept it. And he will allow it. And the Thunder are just not that type of team. So this is one of the tougher series to pick just because of the style of play that will be played. And I really want to see how the Rockets will attack when they have to slow down a little bit more than they want to. And they have to find a way to get efficient enough offense to beat a team that's not scared of them, a team that matches up pretty well against them when it comes to size, when it comes to play. And this is going to be a tricky one. And and this this is why the playoffs are exciting because the game is all about matchups and coaches making adjustments. And Mike D'Antoni has been a guy that has always been, people call him stubborn. He knows what wins. He knows what they want to do. And he's not going to change or differentiate that throughout the series. While Billy Donovan has shown the ability to adjust, the ability to trust, and has shown the ability this year to figure out what works and what doesn't work and what lineups works and don't work. And he's willing to take that gamble and that chance to switch things up and change things to betterment the team, depending on what lineup the Rockets choose to throw out there. Now, the reason why you will pick the Rockets to win this series is because of that style of we're going to live and die by our style. And our style has shown that it has won and got us far. They was one quarter away from going to the NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors. And this team is even more enhanced as they gave up Chris Paul for a guy that really don't shoot, but really fits their shots and kick for threes, just like Harden, but he's just a better shooter and scorer. So I really feel that the Rockets should win this series, and I will pick them to win just because I don't see the Thunder being able to keep up when the Rockets go on their surges. When the Rockets go on their surges, they can blow you out or they can lose. But you still have to beat them four out of seven games. And I don't know if the Thunder can score enough points consistently to beat a team that can erupt and just hit you with some haymakers. And then they have Harden and Russell Westbrook continually coming down your throat each and every possession, trying to hunt you, trying to attack you, and trying to pick you apart the fastest way they can. And that's why I'm going to Rockets in six. I I really love the Thunder. I love what they're about. Um, I have respect for them. I feel like they overachieved this year. I feel like they held each other accountable. They trusted each other. They played together. And I feel like those guys are going to make it tough. They're going to go out there and compete. They're going to go out there with the belief that they can beat this team. Chris Paul is one of the most respected competitors in the league just because He knows the game, he knows his game, and he knows the players around him and how to get the best out of them, and he knows how to get them in situations where they can succeed, but also put the defense in tough situations where they have to pick their poison, and that's going to be the battle of the fourth quarter. Can Harden and them score and take care of the ball enough to beat the steady, focused, locked-in, executing style of Chris Paul and the Thunder? And even though you would usually pick a team like the Thunder over the, over the Rockets, the Rockets are uh, two to three minutes away from blowing you out. They are two minute to three minutes away from going up from tied or coming from down five to being up six. They just that explosive. They two threes away from being up five to up eight. That's how the Rockets have played throughout the season, and that's how they're going to continue to play. And I just don't think the Thunder can score with them enough. I think they're a better team. Uh, I think the Rockets are the better team just because they can score in bunches and they can lock in and just laser you for a couple game for a couple more minutes, and that should be enough to put you out. So I'm gonna go with the Rockets on this. I love Chris Paul. I've been knowing them for years. It's good to see them back at the All Star team. I picked them All NBA second team, but I will say something. I did not see Chris Paul and the Thunder being a four seed in the West coming into the season. But that show you how great of a team and how cohesive they have been able to play. But I also did see the Rockets this year, and James Harden is unguardable. He caused a lot of chaos. He is virtually a 40-point game waiting to happen, and he is a guy that you ain't going to let him score. Everybody around him going to eat, and they going to score. And you don't want them to score because they're not scoring one or two points. They're trying to score three. And Russ is going to get 30 
almost every game or close to it just because he's going to get up a lot of shots and he usually do that that's why he put up a lot of his numbers but he does have an impact on his team because he gives them that threat of always putting pressure and you know collapsing the defense at will and i just don't know if the thunder can slow it down enough i don't know if the thunder can really score enough consistently to match the the, the surge of the rockets so i'm gonna go with the rockets in six um and like i said they do have the best player in the series in james harden um and it's just gonna be interesting to see how much the thunder have and how much they really can push this houston rocket team that most people would think would be the favorite and that's what i'm going to go with um if you're new to the channel i make videos every single day i make discussions and playoff predictions i also do cover free agency trade deadline i also do cover trade deadline and also summer league i do do breakdowns of players legends and rookies even summer league breakdowns i do top 10 lists i cover free agency i cover everything basically about basketball as much as i can and also if you like this video that will help also share and allow me to reach more people not only that um this channel i have over a thousand videos so if you like this video and you want to check out more I have over a thousand available for you in different types and different varieties to give you something different um, throughout the year as I try to make a video, like I said, every day. But other than that, leave your comment. Is I right? Is I wrong? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I read every comment. Thanks for everybody that showed love and support throughout the years. And I also do have a website, anonymousplayground.com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Facebook page will be in the description, comment section below. Like on Facebook also. Also, if you want to buy merchandise, you can find that on my website or on my spread shirt or on my facebook page too so other than that i think the rock is going to get to the second round and it's going to be crazy once they do but let me know is i'm sleeping on the thunder like i did all year or is the rock is just too much for them whatever you think let me know in the comment section below queen wave basketball analysis i'm gone